everybody and welcome back to my channel i hope you are all doing well i think i'm gonna that might help with the daylight but today i'm going to be doing a what i wore in a week and it's going to be a very mixture of dressing up and dressing down because one got poorly and one is still poorly i feel like this is like the final stretch of me being ill so fingers crossed this is the last day and i can get back to like normal activities it sounds so silly but like because i've got it's not covid but it's, all my sinuses are blocked and my breathing's really bad it literally sounds like covid and i've done all the tests and it's not. I kind of wish it was because I'm this ill. If I can get it over and done with just in case I recover from this illness and then get COVID. But anyway, I digress. So we're going to do a what I wore in a week and it's a massive mixture. I really hope this helps with the confusion with what to wear over this kind of period. It's such a bizarre period with the weather. I actually really despise this time of year a lot, a lot of the time. Also autumn because I really struggle with what to wear if it's going to be really cold or if it's going to be really hot this morning laurie and i sat and had breakfast in the garden which was so lovely but then yesterday i think it was snowing <laughs> i have no idea but yeah so i thought i'd quickly show you what i'm wearing hope it helped and um inspires you to grab some bits out of your closet and go oh I, I have that i can style it that way or if you're missing these type of staples in your wardrobe i hope it inspires you and um, these are all staples again which i think you can definitely wear day to night different seasons so yeah i hope you enjoy let's get on with the video okay so first up is this outfit which i absolutely love so this is new this shirt i received it very kindly from a company called fourth and reckless who are doing absolute wonders at the moment and i just think shirts this time of year are just your go-to staples because they feel really undone but still feel in a very smart also nice that you've got a, a layer of a long sleeve but yeah i absolutely love the fit of this the material of it so like i said it's from fourth and reckless and it's in this kind of i can't explain it's like this really nice like thick satin polyester material it's really beautiful and then on the sleeves you can just see it popping my skin popping through there is these gorgeous mesh sleeves and i think that just makes this shirt so different and i really love the fit of it it's been designed really lovely where the 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 collar area just kind of collar area really elegantly like folds over to have that really like over undone look i got it in a size 10 i believe i'll leave it down below with the details recently i've been wearing it with navy trousers black leggings a lot of things but now i'm really pushing the boat out and trying to get more neutral my go-to would just be with black trousers but i've actually paired it with my old for ryland cream trousers and if they're in stock i will leave them down below if they're not i will try and find a similar and these are such a amazing staple piece to have in your wardrobe for working from home also as well if your office is quite casual these are incredible they're so comfortable they look so super smart as well with the material but then they've got an elastic waist yeah i have these in black navy and yeah they're just amazing to be dressing up and dressing down so today which is amazing i'm working from home as per usual but i still really want to feel put together and feel nice so this is kind of like a really nice balance and i'm going to show you how i've styled it but first up is this necklace from monica Veneda. now i believe it is out of stock but i am going to leave it down below so i think you can sign up to the uh, the website so then you can know be notified when it is in stock again and this is also from monica veneda as well i've got it on backwards but it's a really pretty i've got a really pretty like diamante little gem it's like a really nice choker i've also got my svp this is from my collection the moonstone on which is being restocked as well which is really exciting i think by the end of april or beginning of may it's going to be restocked which is very exciting and we're also going to have a collection of it in silver as well so if you didn't get your hands on it and did want to get your hands on it or you want to go and check it out then i'll leave some links like to my reel um some photos that i did with the collection also as well to the website so if you want to be notified when it comes back in stock then you can do so so yes that's really exciting and then all my earrings are just like my everyday earrings which are all monica veneda which are fabulous so how i'm styling it is with a new pair of trainers i got these from i can never say the name but footillism i've been on the hunt to get a pair of new new balances and my friend gave me the link to these and they are just stunning i have an old pair which are fabric on this bit here and it's just got really dirty so i was on the hunt for something a bit 
more durable so these are like leather and suede and they are amazing a bit more of a darker i think they're actually black on the back but i really like that they're nice and neutral so i'm going to pair that with these and then also i would have worn my old trainers but now i've got those i thought it'd be nice and new also my trench from river island which i have in two colorways because i couldn't resist so this is more of a pinky so this is more of a pink color which i think really works lovely just a bit more softer and then i paired it with my vintage louis vuitton bucket bag just to work alongside maybe the darker tones in the new balance trainers so yeah so this was my outfit of monday i feel like sometimes with mon like mondays it's so easy especially if you're working from home to want to get into comfies which like time to time i do but this monday i felt like i really wanted to be productive when i've done my makeup i've got a really nice outfit on then i feel like i'm gonna be very productive so yeah so this was outfit number one for monday i'm gonna leave all the reels and everything down below here but yeah this was a really nice outfit just to wear in the house but also as well to chuck on with a trench and some trainer to chuck on with a trench and trainers if i want to go for a walk or go to the shop yeah really like this outfit nice layers and yeah thought it was a really cute nice neutral outfit also as well this shirt definitely could be paired with some shorts also as well this would actually be quite a pretty outfit with some heels i've got some gorgeous heels let me go and get them so if you love my black kurt geiger heels you're gonna love them in brown oh my god i'm so happy i got my hands on them kindly sent by the kurt geiger team but they are absolutely stunning so you could definitely pair this outfit with some heels and I think that will look so stunning. So I'm gonna do a reel of dressing this, making this day outfit into a night outfit. But with these trousers, because they are quite smart at the bottom, I don't know if you can see that, let me lower you down a bit. With these at the bottom, I think these are so gorgeous. Like this is such a nice, like dressy, but casual outfit. Also a really comfy outfit. And then just to have those heels just peeped through at the bottom. I think it's absolutely stunning. These heels are so comfortable. I love them so much um, and I don't even have to take them off. Um, so really excited to have them in the brown for summer. Also as well, I will leave the um, original heels. I believe these are a dupe of the Jimmy Choo ones, which are beautiful as well. So um, if, you're on, if you've got like a bit more of a higher budget or you're really in love with the Jimmy Choo or wanting some wedding heels or treat yourself, then yeah, I'll leave the Jimmy Choo ones down below because they are stunning as well. Very different as well. I feel like they have their own unique touch, but yeah, the diamante on that is absolutely beautiful and the heel is like it's a good heel it's a really comfortable heel so if you are on hunt either these or the jimmy shoe ones they're gonna be your best bet because you can wear them in the summer wear them in winter I could absolutely go on and on about these because these are my absolute favorite heels okay so next up was a outfit to go to a meeting with so this was tuesday's outfit and this is just a really classic basic black t-shirt so what i did was make it really casual i did was kind of smartly styled a blazer just making it super basic but kind of um smart so i thought this would be a good one to share with you with how i styled it so first off i have a just a classic black t-shirt on this is from uh h&m and then and then i've just put on my zara old zara leather trousers because it's still a little bit cold out there as well as i'm not wearing a coat so I'm just wearing like little minimal layers so having the leather trousers on is quite handy to keep me a little bit more warm and then what blazer I'm styling today is this gorgeous one from River Island really lovely this is I've still got the tag in it um it was 75 pounds and it's like this really nice like blush cream I've got it oversized I've got it in a size size 10 and why I wanted to wear it kind of like really undone is because I think it's quite a um over the top blazer in itself anyway it's quite structured and um, it's got padded shoulders so what i've done is just to calm it down a little bit more is just to roll the sleeves up so you can see the white linen just to cool it down a bit love the details of it as well it's got a gorgeous like little gold button here so this is what it looks like all in all and then i started with some black accessories so 
I've gone for my flattered loafers, which are just so comfortable and really lovely attire for this time of year. They're also a really good staple for workwear, but if you're like decisive or wearing like heels, boots or trainers, then these are like a really good go-to. Like I said, these are from Flattered and they are so comfortable. I didn't even have to break them in. I really like the quilting on them as well. It kind of makes them feel a bit more casual. And then I've styled it with my black Pelene bag. Absolutely love this bag. It looks quite small, but it's a TARDIS. Like, I kid you not, like, it's the quality of the Pelene Paris bags are just incredible. I absolutely adore these so yeah really in love with this it comes in a bigger size as well but i actually prefer this size because i can use it with like date nights like going into the evening and day and night wear basically um so yeah really love this bag and it comes in a multitude of colors but black is just classic um and i absolutely love it so this was the outfit i wore to the meeting and i just felt really comfortable in it really like this style because it's like my usual style anyway um, but it felt really comfy and casual and just like a really good um, staple outfit to wear. Um, but I'll leave a little reel of it here as well. But yeah, really comfortable, really casual. Again, you can put this on with some heels. I think that'll look really lovely as well. Um, but yeah, really like this look. It was like a dress smart, but it wasn't like too over the top as well. So a really good staple outfit for like a kind of casual outfit. This would also look nice with some heel boots as well. Just a really good classic to go to if you've got meetings, going into the office, or you're going for like a really nice lunch, but it's like daytime instead of nighttime, and you don't really know what to wear. Just like classic staples, your black train, your black trousers, jeans or leather trousers with a basic t-shirt, smart blazer, loafers or heels or whatever you want, and a really nice bag. I okay, think that's a really lovely look so yeah really was obsessed with this outfit and again i could wear this with different outfits different blazers different colors it's just like a really good staple to think about chucking on a pair of blue jeans a white tee and a brown brown blazer like such a multitude of ways i just absolutely love blazers um and they make a casual outfit look a bit more put together okay so wednesday outfit is when i became quite poorly and i received the most perfect outfit from fall from reckless this is from their new collaboration which has literally just launched and i absolutely love it it's the most snuggliest little outfit i'm really sorry if you can hear the building but it's a gorgeous jogger set from fall from reckless it's literally like i said just came out the material is super soft super cozy it is perfection of what you need right now so i got the top in a size 10 and i feel like it's quite a nice size i'm five foot three and i'm a size six this goes below my bum and um, probably could have gone oversized but for this like tracksuit look i think it works quite well um so you could actually stick to your normal size um or go oversized i like to do oversized and then the trousers are a size six and i do have to roll them up a diddy bit um but not like mad rolling up but it's not bad at sizing and um, they're good size they're really comfortable more so just in the length they're quite they're quite a good true to size um it's just more so in the length if i roll them up but other than that the tailoring of them is really lovely sometimes i find with like sweaters and joggers that i find them quite um unflattering and just quite shaped in the wrong areas where this is dark designed really lovely really nice white two-piece which obviously my mum is going to be like oh because i'm a mucky pup i will find a way to get something on me which is just hilarious bring light on because it's getting dark i think it's about to rain but yeah i will find a way of getting something mucky on me but alas this is just oh my god i'm so obsessed with this it's so snuggly it's so cozy as well it's also quite a light um material it's really um flexible and quite a nice quite a nice thickness so really nice for like springtime how i've styled it again is with some trainers and i wore them with my new balances so i'm just gonna grab my new ones which i've got i will leave these down below um they will literally go out of stock super quick but i was really lucky to get my hands on a pair of these and i paired it also with a trench coat this is the the brown version the darker version of the river island one i just thought this was like a really nice outfit um just kind of like casual wear um also as well like i always find that i've never had like a really nice like leisurely attire something that looked cool like i see people on instagram and i'm like 
you just look so cool in the, the most leisurely pieces and I think it is because when you have a matching set it just looks so much more smarter and done up and then I just chucked on any bag that I can find so I've just grabbed my Chloe bag because this just goes everywhere with me and usually has all my purses and everything in it so um yeah that is my Wednesday outfit for when I was poorly and I just needed needed time to relax and i needed some cozy attire it came at the right time but yeah really like this look and also as well a sweat a jogger set is amazing for travel wear also as well i've seen people wear them this with blazers and just look really cool but yeah if you're looking if you're on the hunt for a, a jogger set i would definitely check out the fourth and reckless one their price range is really good as well and the girls are just incredible at designing and tailoring so um yeah if you haven't found your perfect jogger set, I would really recommend for the reckless. As well as if you are on the hunt for a trench coat, this is the darker version of the River Island one and it's just so lovely. I think it's so smart as well and again, just that kind of timeless classic brown. So this will go with quite a lot. I think River Island have nailed their trench coats for the last couple of years. And I must say, very in love, get so much wear out of them really affordable price point and yeah very timeless so yeah okay so it is thursday now still feeling a little bit poorly but got myself kind of ready together so i'm kind of wearing a bit of a casual look again similar to the white outfit i'm wearing a blue version of the outfit so i have this oversized shirt on which actually wasn't the shirt i was wearing i was wearing a really lovely one from river island which i will leave down below as this one's quite an old one but i just wanted to keep continuity and just show you kind of like an example of how it looked again i really like this style of doing the tuck in tuck out i think that looks really cool i think that looks really cool also just really comfortable and i really am into this like oversized layering look so these trousers are from river island and like i said about the cream ones so comfortable look really lovely i love the white panel down at the side and really stretchy at the back and then you've got a really smart detail here they are out of stock i believe the similar me and m ones because i saw some of my friends wear them and they look so beautiful so i'll leave them down below as well and me and m is an incredible brand if you don't know them already and the quality is incredible as well so yeah so this was a another like off duty styled look oversized um shirt kind of like a boyfriend shirt rolled up sleeves Jewelry is the same. I've also got my Monica Veneda bangle and my Joma jewelry. How I styled this day was with my Axel Arigato kind of plimsoll shoe. If you aren't into the New Balances, I would really recommend these ones. I absolutely love these. I got these for Christmas last year and they're just classic white. And then these ones, and these ones have a really nice, like, have a really nice gold tongue at the back. You can also get them in silver and different colours. I just really liked how smart they were. So I felt like my New Balances are more like casual attire. But if I wanted to wear these um, maybe to a meeting or if I'm going out for a really nice dinner, but I still like my outfit kind of looks like it needs a pair of trainers, then these are the trainers I would go for because they're just really simple really smart so these are my axel arigato trainers and then i would have styled it with my matching white coach bag because this is a really handy bag i'll show you the inside it has two different sides to the bag it's quite roomy and it just clips on here for like security and you have this size of the handle which goes over the shoulder but then you also have the longer side if you want for it to be over your body like that like a cross body really lovely i love the quality of the coach bags and i don't think they're that bad on the price point as well when it comes to designer bags i just thought with this look because i've got the white panel in accent the white trainers and i thought that would look really nice with the white bag okay so if i wasn't poorly this is how i would style it i'm really loving the brown and the blue i think it just looks so cute so also as well this would be a really cool day to night look with if you're wearing like little heels so again let me just repeat myself 
wasn't this shirt that I was wearing. It's a bit more of a small shirt, so it's a little bit more... Feels a bit more oversized. I'm gonna leave a little picture of me doing like a mirror selfie. But yeah, this blazer is from River Island. I would have been wearing for River Island if it wasn't for the other shirt being in the wash. But yeah, like I said, I really am liking the blue and brown together. I just think that's such a lovely color palette. I think that looks really pretty. This is what I would be wearing if I wasn't bed bound and going out and about. But yeah, I think this is a really cool look. Very 80s, I'm really liking it. I saw it on Instagram. I get a lot of my, insp in, um, my inspiration from Instagram and Pinterest. And if you're like me and you kind of like struggle with what to wear like on the go, I love to create a little album of like, I create albums for like a spring album, winter album, um, going out for dinner album, like, and then I can look through them and like the outfits that I like, like and love, thinking that I can think thinking as well like oh that'll look nice on me and um oh I've got something like that in my wardrobe and I can recreate that so I make sure I save it on my phone so then when I'm like in the moment of I haven't got anything to wear I don't know what to wear I just go on my phone go onto the album and then I check that and then I put something together so if you are like me I would really recommend that but yeah I just saw this lady she had like the proper like aviator sunglasses on as well I just thought it looked so cool and yeah again I cannot I repeat myself I really love the brown and the blue together I just think that's really nice and something that I wouldn't have actually paired together but yeah quite happy with this I would have probably also worn a navy blazer as well I feel like that would look really gorgeous for now I'm really enjoying this look um really nice like off-duty work vibes super comfortable this could also be a really lovely travel outfit I'm on the hunt for travel outfits at the moment as I'm going to Paris and Spain. So I'm like, <laughs> all I can think about is holidays. But um, yeah, no, I really like this look. This place is so lovely as well. Like I said, from River Island and I'll leave it down below with my sizes. But yeah, this was outfit for Thursday. Okay, so Saturday's attire was literally just chilling at the house. We went and got some brunch and we then went and did some like home bits and we just did some like loads of work at home which was really productive actually loved this weekend we had such a chilled one just because we were very cautious that i was a little bit poorly so um we didn't go home to brighton which was our original plan but just because of um like things going around and covid we didn't want to give anything to our um our family especially the vulnerable ones so we just we stayed here Obviously with the new guidelines you're allowed out. I don't know I'm telling the story. But obviously with the guidelines you're allowed out. So we just kept testing and we'd go out for like coffees and would like eat some like lunch here and there just so we were doing something because obviously Laurie was like fine. It was just me who was poorly. So um I didn't want him to be bored and he wanted to stay with me, bless him. Um so yeah, yeah, Saturday was a really chilled day. So that that day I just wore oversized jumper and leggings and i wanted to include this because it is my like one of my absolute go-to outfits which i feel really but like really cool in and i really love wearing and it's super comfortable so this is this jumper is actually quite new this is from sport and richie i did a campaign with a company called fred i'll leave them down below because they are fabulous and what they basically do is it's kind of like a personal shopping and you like have to fill out this quiz um, and then they basically tailor a wardrobe for you and you can pick and choose like with your budget and colors etc etc and it's free as well like the the experience they provide the like the experience they provide like the styling and you just have to buy the clothes which i think is just like really good so i found this jumper which is just perfection it's from sporty and rich and i got it in a large and i just absolutely love it and then i'm just wearing some sports leggings these ones are from sweaty betty and i absolutely love them i'm wearing an extra small and they come with like a little phone pocket um slider down the side and also like elastic around the back around the um waist so you can tighten it um but yes yeah, i love wearing gym leggings like if i'm kind of like off like just doing like admin work and things like that i actually prefer it to um like tracksuit bottoms or flared trousers i feel like really um i don't know why but maybe it's because they're like a bit more fitted i feel a bit more put together or like cute in them so yeah my massive go-to for like lazy lazy days or like hair up kind of days is 
leggings and an oversized jumper that is like my big biggest go-to so yeah saturday was a super chill day which was so lovely so obviously i will of course i wore my oversized jumper and leggings and then again i just paired them with some trainers and also with my um sandra jacket which i absolutely love if it's still available i'll leave it down below um it's just such a perfect jacket for this time of year for spring for spring and summer actually and also autumn it's like one of those go-to jackets just like a bomber jacket like it's not cold it's not hot but it's like spring showers summer showers um and it's just a really good jacket and i absolutely i saw this i think a few months before actually getting it and i just fell in love and then very kindly i was doing a job with Farfetch and um, obviously the first thing I wanted to do is pick this bomber jacket out because it is so cool, oversized. I'll leave this one down below also as well. There's a Frankie shop one and then I'll try and find a high street one as well. Um, if it's a bit out of your budget, I have lost a button here, which I need to do. Yeah, absolutely love this. It's just super lovely and I just love the detail of it. I did lose a, um, a button the other day when I went to the gym and then I just paired it with my go-to bag, which had everything in it because I wasn't going to the gym or anything. So I just paired it with my Chloe bag because it's just so handy and it was just literally on the, the side and it had my wallet and my lipstick and my keys in it so yeah this was my outfit for Saturday just super cute super comfortable and I really love this look also as well probably saw in my other outfit Adenola cap which is very very cool I don't know if I'm cool enough for it but with this outfit I feel like it works very well like very Princess Diane vibes which is very cool like very Hayley Bieber um, but yeah, really love this outfit, really love this bomber jacket, I get so much wear out of it and it's just so comfortable, it's just like my easy grab and go coat but I feel really cool in it. It's like I love this jacket because I feel like it's a really good um, on the go jacket, really insane quality jacket as well, it just looks really nice as well, I feel lovely in it. And I think that's one, I think that's one staple thing that I have noticed is that like when I had my like lazy outfits let's say like the oversized jumper and the leggings um or like the f or the tracksuit bottom i feel so much nicer wearing them because i feel like i've put more maybe it, like more thought into what i'm investing in and things that i actually am really looking forward to wear even though they're lounge wear um things like that or pajamas like i feel like they're things that sometimes you forget to put a lot of effort into them but they're the things probably you wear the most especially at the moment if we're walking away from home or like off duty days like i feel like we're having a bit more of a casual attire at the moment um and yeah i just decided to start recently investing into higher quality maybe a bit more expensive pieces but i wear them honestly time and time again and i've actually got rid of um i took to the charity shops like i had loads of like jumpers and things which had marks on them and i just kept wearing them around the house and i was looking at myself and i was like i know it's a comfy day but you just look rubbish <laughs> so i really want to make sure that when i'm wearing like loungewear and like off-duty attire that it's like nice and looks cool i hope that made sense but yeah really love this outfit i'm digressing um just think it's really cool and yeah love this jacket if you are on the hunt for a quilted jacket still definitely go and check the description box down below because these are fabulous okay last but not least is my outfit i wore on sunday and laurie and i did some diy we did some cleaning in the flat outside our flat because we are in basement we also live next to a house which is being refurbished and there was a lot of dust and a lot of mud has just built up on the walls so we decided to give it a clean and oh my god it was the most satisfying thing and i've never heard laurie be so obsessed with cleaning he was like i cannot believe the difference like he is so over the moon with it which is a really good thing because that means in the future he's just going to enjoy cleaning a lot more and it's just going to be fabulous um but we decided that we definitely deserved a roast dinner hour and when we went to the diy shop up the road i feel like i tell a story every time i um tell what i'm wearing we stumbled upon a pub that i've been dying to go to called the princess royal it's a new pub and it's part of the cubits house who own a couple more restaurants and um yeah it was a beautiful so we wanted to wear something quite like 
Sunday attires is something quite smart. I feel like this literally is, when I say Sunday, like Sunday church, like a little choir boy. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I wanted to wear something casual, but like quite pretty. So I went with this blouse from River Island. River Island are just doing it so well at the moment. And I just love the details. They're very Ganny vibes, very Sister Jane. And I just absolutely adore it. I just think it's so beautiful. And then I paired it with some collots which are from Zara and I'm going to go and get the white ones because I absolutely love these. I think they are super flattering and just so comfortable and look smart. Then I paired it with some trainers just to calm it down a bit more. So the Axel Arigatos and then my Chanel, which I just thought white and white and white and white would look really lovely, which was a bit more special. So yeah, so that was my Sunday attire and then I just paired it with a little trench and yeah, had a lovely time. Had some champagne, some red wine, a roast dinner. Then I came crawling home <laughs> because I realized I wasn't well. Um, in the end I it really hits me in the morning and night times it hits me the worst and then during the day I have like a spruce of energy um so I do a lot of things which probably isn't ideal um I need to actually rest <laughs> but yeah anyway I digress so that is the end of a what I wore in a week I hope you enjoyed it like always I will leave everything down below and I will try and remember to do my sizes if they are out of stock I will try and link any similar but if you haven't already please like and subscribe it really supports my channel and Thank you so much for watching. I hope you are all doing well and I will see you in the next video.